Hi guys, it's Karen and uh, with the purple hair. And I wanted to talk tonight about uh, something that is common to all of us on this path, and that is why bother. Um, we do the affirmations, we uh, read all the books, we listen to all the lectures, we do chanting, we stand on our head, we eat right, we uh, send love letters out, and our life is still screwed. At least that's the interpretation of the ego, the old man, okay? So that's one facet of this conversation. Let's complete that before we go on. Uh, why bother? Because you have to be who you are. That automatically sets you into an activity in life. We're not talking about action designed to bring about a manifested result. Stay away from that. OK, and not only that, but don't interpret what I say about taking action as stating that you need to force a manifestation or manipulate or anything like that. I am totally against that. Um, and I just got that handed to me again from some Abraham Hicks, you know, <sighs> listen to me. OK, so um, I'm going to be in dialogue with that person for a while, I'm sure. Um, you know, I handed them their Abraham Hicks verbiage and, you know, hit the ball over the net. Let's see where it, hand, uh, where it lands. So uh, you stay away from the end. Okay. It's guaranteed. Just stay in the state of the wish fulfilled. Be the person whose life, hi Val, Thanks for joining, uh, whose life is one of value. You're not, you're not being who you are in order to get anything back. You're just who you are to give. Anytime that you get out of that state, you're going to say it's not worth it. That's a great uh, signpost that tells you you're out of the state. OK, so when when you're going about being a teacher, being a parent, uh, being uh, being a sister, being a brother, being a mother, whatever, whatever roles you play, chosen and uh, seemingly unchosen, I want you to realize that you do matter. And because your ego or your old man self is still operating in the background, it's going to say you don't matter. And then you're going to see that uh, that what you're doing in life uh, just is a waste of time. It's a waste. It's a waste. Well, it really isn't. You just don't see uh, the value in it. I was given a, an opportunity of learning that lesson when I went on my last vacation to Sacramento. Uh, just recently. And I, I did my Karen thing and it was glorious. And I was, I was treated like a queen as usual. Okay. I always am now. And um, unless you want to lose your life. Okay. But anyway, right now, my mode of operation is being treated like a queen and everybody is wonderful. Hi, Christiana. So, uh, but there were things that I assumed from my imagination, we're going to take place, and they kind of did, but they didn't manifest. I'm going, what the fuck? You know, I am queen of wands. I am mistress of manifesting. I know, especially in California, okay, and more so here in Boise, and boy, doubly in Sedona. So I went, what the hell happened here? And then, oh my God, my trip to to Mount Shasta, I was inundated with, why bother? Why did I bother all the way back? Why did I bother? Why did I bother? <laughs> that was actually my mantra. Why bother? Why did I do this? And the reason why is because I'm learning how to follow guidance 100% of the time. I was told by guidance to go. And I didn't know. I didn't have to know how, pardon me, 
I didn't know. I didn't need to know why. I didn't need to know. Just realizing that I followed my guidance and went on a trip and spent buku money and did what I did and spread my Karen pollen and pollen all around, you know, wherever I went and, and enjoyed the heck out of everybody. And they enjoyed me. And I was told I was given a, a direct, a direct comment. And that is, it was to inter, interact with the people and to make changes in their lives just by being present in their lives. You don't have to know. That's the answer to why bother. Okay. That's one answer. Now, why bother in the other sense of, um, I, I lost my, my watch is going off as usual. Why bother in the sense of why put a lot of effort into stuff and uh, it goes belly up because the lessons that you learned, you learn valuable lessons on how you operate. If you have a business that, that, that fails, I failed at a dozen businesses along, you know, my long 62 years. I did. I succeeded at a lot of them, but I failed a hell of a lot more. And, and, and I'm, I'm at an, uh, the edge right now of letting go of a massive one and launching myself further in my coaching. In fact, hundred percent, I'm letting go of the other. Um, and, and it's, it, it, the fear comes up. Am I making the right decision? Yes, I am. I am. And so if I don't get the desired result with the launch of my book, fuckity, fuck, 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 you can buy it on Amazon, both in Kindle, the Kindle, and also in paperback, by the way, guys, I am, I am very proud of that first birth. Okay. I've got four more, uh, right now in the womb and I'm going to do one every three months. So, uh, please go to Amazon, purchase the book, read it and, and, and laugh and, um, and enjoy the hell out of it. It's adult in its Karen raw. And it's also a look into the world of manifesting and the world of spirituality, uh, the other side of the curtain. Okay. I know it well because I've been in it for over 40 years, most of my life. So, um, anyway, going back to why bother? You will fail. Failure is part of success. You will bounce. Go into failure and don't wallow. Go through and realize it's not a failure. It is a launch past all of the past into a new future that is better than what you could ever imagine. I failed miserably at a relationship this year. Did I? No, I didn't. But did I give it all? I gave it 110%. And it went belly up because he got scared, scared shitless. And he went and hid back, put his whole his head back in his ass. Okay. I went enough's enough. I learned so much by that seeming failure. Why bother? Because of all the lessons I learned that launched me. It launched me in June. You wouldn't believe what I've accomplished. If you've been following me since June, you know the difference, okay? Not only in me wearing bling and, you know, coloring my hair purple and, and doing all the trips and everything. It's just my entire life is different. And believe me, I pay the same price. And I am looking at failure totally different. I'm looking at being ignored totally different. Me, ignored, well, that's what my ego tells me. Why bother? Why bother doing the blogs? Why bother having three YouTube channels? Why bother advertising? Why bother this? Why bother that? Because you want to be out there 
And you want to be uh, visible to those who are seeking you out for whatever purpose, okay? It could be throwing rotten tomatoes at you. Big deal, okay? But the more that you're out there, the more that you do uh, bother, the better results that you're going to get. And pretty soon you're going to not even ask yourself, why bother? You're just simply going to live your life fully and freely and you care less about the results because you have the results. You have the results by being the person you are here to be guaranteed and guaranteed that that spirit is going to reward you. You don't get rewards by like planting an apple seed, watering it, caring for it, having it grow a tree and, and, and you've got apples. This is much more in depth and it's, it's inner and it's outer and it's your life. What do you want your life, your legacy to stand for? I want to wake people up. I want to be connected to spirit at all times. I want a con conduit of spirit through me to others so that they have a chance to be connected to their higher self so that they, they get awake and stay awake. And if that means kicking their ass, I'm just really fine on that. If it, if it means just listen to them, I'm okay on that. My range is incredibly broad. I am willing to talk like honey and I'm willing to say, fuck you. It's a bunch of bullshit. Okay. So, um, I go both sides and, um, I, I teach the pain fear dichotomy. I'm both. Okay. I can be a goddamn narcissist when I need to, and I can be, uh, someone who's incredibly giving. Um, and, and I am, I, I love, I love myself and my range. I don't need your approval. I really don't. I care less. Um, so I want you to bother. I want you to bother all the time. Why bother? Why stir the pot? It's another example of why bother? Why do I bother stirring people up? Because it's who I am. If I can't stir someone up, why be alive? Why get out of bed? I want, and in Sedona, this trip coming up for my coaching clients, um, yeah, I'm going to stir them up a lot. And if any of my coaching clients who are going on the Sedona adventure with Karen are watching this, it's a warning. Of course, you don't need the warning. You already know. And uh, it's going to be, it's going to be life changing for all of us. And um, I'm ready to take you all on in love and in ass kicking. So I'm going to end this. I've got uh, a stir fry to make. Um, improvement on last night's dinner, which was wonderful. Uh, but I forgot a couple ingredients. So I'm going to let you go. And why bother uh, making food if it just gets eaten and we have dishes? Because it's good food. Why not just order in? Because that stuff is shit. Okay. We want good food. And so we go out and we spend more money and we get organic and we live plant-based, no oil and high starch. That's our choice. Janet and I. And uh, it serves us. And... Um, it's the way we, we crumble, honey. We don't crumble. We thrive. Uh, so my blessings to all of you. I want you to go out there and bother. And I want you to see the value yourself and you bothering everybody and you bothering and not getting anything in return. Read the book by, I think, Al Ritter, The 100-0% Principle. And it's loving without a thought of getting love back. And I want you to know this. When you love, you automatically receive that love because you acknowledge it's in you. And so you don't need to receive anything from anybody. Certainly it's normal. And we're, we're approaching the, you know, Valentine's Day. And I remember my last one. I should do a blog on that. So, but, um, it's Valentine's Day coming up. 
where people are expecting, in the wrong sense of expecting, flowers and candy and a meal out and getting laid. Oh, excuse me. I wasn't supposed to say that. Getting lucky. Um, and and having, um, you know, their, their bodies kissed and whatever. Just whatever. Um, I would love to have a national give love day. Give love without expectation of anything returned. I can get my teeth sunk into that. Okay. And that's what the 100 slash 0% book is all about. And it's total effort, by the way, you do, you do not effort in the sense, but you bother. Okay. You go out on a limb and you give love without any expectation. Now that's love. With that, I will end this. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.